Hello, fellow teachers. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, how you can use virtual reality to teach sustainability in classrooms. Virtual reality, or VR, has been making waves in the world of teaching and learning. And in this video, we'll explore some of the different types of VR and take it beyond being a gimmick to being something that can enhance student learning. VR has come a long way since technologies like the ViewMaster in 1939 and NASA's Virtual Interface Environment Workstation or VIEW headset from 1985. In the last five in the or so years, the technology and apps are getting better and better and we've seen more exciting apps coming onto the market. What is VR? Let's begin with a quick introduction to virtual reality. VR is a technology that immerses users in a computer-generated three-dimensional environment, allowing them to interact with the digital world as if they were physically present. There's a few different types of VR experiences that you could use. First up, we have fully immersive virtual reality. This type of VR provides a complete and immersive experience where users are completely transported into a virtual environment using a headset device. Fully immersive VR can be achieved through headsets like this one, where you have a headset and are working with a laptop to navigate through an experience. Or you can have some that have handheld controllers allowing you to interact with your environment. There's also headsets now that don't require handheld controllers and that you can control with hand gestures that are activated through sensors. There's also experiences called mixed reality that blend virtual and real worlds together. For example, by making the physical world visible in the headset with software that you can interact with over the top as a layer. For example, you could design a new table for your living room or painting on your wall. Lastly, we have VR, which is often overlooked, and that is VR experiences where you are navigating a virtual world through a computer or tablet device but are still fully sitting and consciously within your physical environment without the need for headsets. If you don't have VR, but are keen to get stuck into virtual worlds, stick around until the end because I'll show you some different options that you can use immediately in the classroom with a computer or tablet device. After reviewing a number of different VR headsets, We've settled on using Oculus Quest and Oculus Meta Quest 2 headsets for our lending library. We found the comfort level of the view to be one of the best at the price point and like the fact that it didn't have to be tethered to a computer. So we could send the headsets out with their controllers and an iPad and they were good to go. We also like that students could interact using the handheld controllers and that it was all cable free. We found there to be a good selection of VR apps suitable for classroom learning. VR and sustainability. Teaching about sustainability and climate change means equipping students with the knowledge and understanding to solve our pressing environmental challenges. It can include an understanding of climate change science, its impacts on ecosystems and communities, and the importance of sustainable practices. Through sustainability education, students can gain the skills and motivation to become responsible global citizens who can actively contribute to a more sustainable and climate resilient future. There are so many excellent software and VR apps available now to explore sustainability and climate change in schools. Okay, let's jump in and have a look at some apps in no particular order that you can use to teach sustainability and climate change. Let me know by commenting below what VR apps you've tried in your classroom or would like to try from this list. Nature Trex VR can be used as a relaxation tool and also connect you to experiences with life below water and life on land. You can explore nine natural settings such as tropical beaches and the ocean, and view over 20 different animals, including elephants, giraffes, whales, and dolphins. Students could observe and reflect on what they see, hear, and experience in these immersive environments. These environments are designed with nine distinct color themes to elicit specific emotional responses, providing a unique opportunity to engage with nature in a virtual space. Users can navigate through these landscapes and observe life on land and underwater. 
One interesting feature of NatureTrex VR is the ability to influence the environment. Users can command the weather, manipulate the time of day. While this tool offers a virtual space to explore nature in different environments, animals and climate, it also becomes a mindfulness tool for your students. Ocean Rift is an immersive virtual aquatic safari park that provides an excellent link to life below water. You can explore a world full of life underwater and view dolphins, sharks, turtles, sea snakes, rays, whales, mantis, sea lions and even prehistoric animals. You are free to swim around each of the 14 habitats using the motion controls. You can activate the education mode to learn more about the animals you come across and there are over 40 fully narrated information points to find. This app provides access to an experience that students may not otherwise have. This is a great example for students understanding how precious our underwater life is and to think of innovative ways we can leverage technology to monitor and save underwater sea life. Foria, an Australian-based technology studio, has partnered with organisations like the World Wildlife Fund and United Nations to create an immersive documentary video series for VR, highlighting places the WWF and UNESCO works and the people working to protect those places. The series guides viewers through the savannas of Kenya, the rainforests of Borneo, the coral reefs of Raja Ampat, sea islands and pathways of Colombia. Viewers can encounter wildlife like elephants, orangutans and manta rays, along with the people who work to protect these animals and their habitats, all in a cinematic VR experience. The Did you know Ecosphere, short for ecological sphere, refers to the entire environment or ecological system of a particular area, region or the entire planet? It encompasses all of the living organisms and their interactions with the non-living components of the environment, such as air, water, soil, and climate. Exploring an ecosphere helps us understand the interconnectedness and the complexity of ecosystems and how different species and environmental factors interact and influence one another. You can encourage students to explore the virtual ecosystem they are viewing at their own pace explain or have students identify the key elements of the ecosystem, such as the types of plants and animals present, the climate and how living and non-living things might interact within the ecosystem. In National Geographic Explore VR, you can set off as a National Geographic Explorer with a mission to capture photographs for the magazine with the help of an editor who will give you instructions via their radio. You will travel to two different destinations, Machu Picchu and Antarctica. In Antarctica, you will undertake an adventure mission by navigating around icebergs in a kayak, climbing a massive ice shelf and surviving a snowstorm while you search for a lost emperor penguin colony. Next, you can visit Machu Picchu in Peru and view digital reconstructions of the ancient Inca Citadel. You'll be able to learn about local culture and even encounter local alpacas. The photography mission provides structure around what you're doing in the app with purpose. There are limitations to how far you can explore. For example, you can't walk freely around and are restricted to viewpoints. But this is quite an experience for students and one that could be linked to learning about photography and generating photography missions for their own local, local wildlife. Sculpt VR allows you to create digital sculptures in a virtual world. Digital sculpting means manipulating a 3D object by using actions like pushing and pulling, carving, pinching, building up, shaping and grabbing, just as if you were handling clay, except with digital software. Digital sculpting in VR adds an immersive element. So beyond using a desktop computer, you can immerse yourself in the experience of crafting objects as if you're in an art studio and using your hands. You can explore many and you can explore many amazing creations in the interactive gallery and then remix them however you want. 
When you're happy with your creation, you can upload it to the Sculpt VR content gallery and let others see the incredible things that you've made. Students could investigate eco-friendly materials such as clay or recycled materials and how eco-materials can provide more sustainable choices. Using this information, students could create eco-friendly objects that can replace problematic objects found around the home or school. They can then use Sculpt VR to create colours and textures to represent their eco-friendly materials. Students could also use Sculpt VR to create sculptures that represent sustainability or climate change themes, such as endangered animals, bushfires, melting glaciers or ocean pollution, and then create their theme represented as a sculpture that is thought provoking. Artwork can serve as a powerful medium to visually depict environmental challenges, such as deforestation, pollution, melting ice caps, and endangered species. Through paintings, sculptures, or digital art, students can communicate their understanding of these issues, raising awareness and promoting discussion. Art has the ability to evoke emotions and provoke thought, and students can use their artwork to convey the emotional impact of climate change helping others to connect on a deeper level with an issue. With Vermilion, you can get a fully equipped oil painting studio with no messy cleanup that has been developed with feedback of both traditional and digital artists. You can learn alongside artists on YouTube using the built-in web browser, trace reference images directly on the canvas, or even collaborate with others in multiplayer mode with up to four people. Vermilion features lifelike wet-on-wet color mixing and you have your own paint palette. You could mix paints just like you would in real life. And yes, orange and red will make yellow. And you have lots and lots of simulated brushes to choose from. Once you're done, you can share your masterpiece as an image or create a varnished 3D model export for your own home. Tilt Brush or Open Brush is a virtual reality painting application that allows you to create 3D artwork using VR headsets and motion controllers. When you enter the virtual canvas, you can manipulate brushes and tools with your motion controllers, each representing different brush types and effects. You have the freedom to paint and sculpt in all directions within the 3D space, and you can choose from various brushes and colors available on the palette. Now you might be thinking, this isn't a sustainability app. There are many ways you can use this for sustainability perhaps data visualization. So you could take the environment or climate change data and recreate it into a 3D form or representation in a 3D environment. Students can use the tool to represent temperature trends, carbon emissions, or even sea level rises in creative ways, creating new ways of showing data with impact to audiences. Virtual prototypes. Tilt brush can be used as a sketch tool to create sustainable solutions. Students can create virtual prototypes of things like sustainable buildings or eco-friendly transport systems, encouraging their innovation and problem solving. One way we've been using tilt brush or open brush is through a partnership with the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Mathematics Alliance, also known as ATSIMA. We worked with them and developed workshops in which students learn about First Nations innovation in areas like architecture, fishing nets and traps, and spear throwers, and then they design their own. First Nations peoples have been developing complex sustainable practices for over 65,000 years, making use of sustainable materials from the environment that are resilient to climate change and that have values of only take and use what you need. Students could work with local elders and traditional custodians to learn about First Nations innovation and then use this as a springboard and inspiration for their own creations. Co-space is a little bit of a different option as you don't need access to a virtual reality headset, but it's a great option if you want to jump into exploring virtual worlds with your students but don't have the VR gear yet. CoSpaces Edu enables you to build 3D creations, animate them with code and explore them in virtual worlds and with augmented reality. Within CoSpaces, students can choose from different environments and objects to add to build to their creations. 
It provides entry points for different levels of experience or age groups. So you can use it as a simple drag and drop program interface, or you can use their block style visual programming blocks, or even Python programming integration to bring interactivity to your world. For example, having objects on the screen do things like speak, swim, fly, or interact with each other. CoSpaces has tons of teacher support with a website full of lesson plans, project ideas, and lots of tutorials on their YouTube account that you or your students can follow to learn about CoSpaces or to figure out how to do something when you're stuck. The CoSpaces Edu account allows teachers to manage classes and students to monitor work easily and provides access to projects created by students. I love that CoSpaces also has an integration with Merge Cubes, something we also include as a kit in our CESA lending library. So students can create virtual worlds and scenes in CoSpaces and then view them using their Merge Cubes in augmented reality. Using CoSpaces, students could design sustainable cities or housing. They could create an education campaign in VR with sceneries and educate people about climate change and sustainability issues and ways that people can tackle these issues with small and big actions in their daily lives. As you can see, there are many opportunities for harnessing some of these exciting VR experiences and VR creation tools to teach sustainability in the classroom. If you're looking for more ideas around what to teach in sustainability or how to link these tools to classroom learning, have a look at the sustainability cross-curriculum priority in the Australian curriculum. UNESCO Sustainable Goals for Development also provide 17 key areas humanity can focus on to make a positive difference to our world. A number of these relate to sustainability and climate change themes, such as life on land, life below water, sustainable cities and communities, clean water and sanitation, and there are plenty of education resources out there to support their use. If you want to learn more about teaching sustainability in schools, join our Digital Technologies Plus X course on the CESA website. You will also learn about how to integrate digital technologies with other subjects like maths and English. If you're a teacher in Australia, you might like to check out our free National Lending Library website funded by the Australian Government Department of Education. We send out free kits to schools with equipment like VR headsets, augmented reality technology like Merge Cubes, and we also have a digital kit account if you're keen to try things like CoSpaces Edu with your classes. Jump on and have a look. If you want to learn more about any of these tools, let us know by commenting below or sending us an email at caesar at adelaide.edu.au and we can look at doing more videos or resource support. Thanks for joining me today. That was a little bit of fun exploring virtual worlds. I hope these have sparked some ideas for your own classroom teaching. See you next time.